Yeah, I think so too, and I know he's playing Akuma. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I think everyone has a pocket Akuma here and there. Exactly. They're gonna pull that out. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, they could go total wreck and chop with Akuma in these pools early on. So. Yeah, and the game has only been out for about less than two weeks in Japan. Yeah. And I think now is the prime time. I mean, and not counting out North America, I think North America probably has its best chance right now because the game is so new and there's a level of unfamiliarity and surprise. Yeah. They could catch a lot of the top players that have regular access to this game, uh, catch them off guard. This is the time of learning. But anyways, how you doing, Mark? I'm doing all right. So do, 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 have you told the people who you are yet? Do they know your role within Tekken? Um, it's a secret. No one should know my role. Uh. No, I'm just kidding. I am the brand manager on Tekken 7 uh, North America. Um, you know, I'm really excited to work on this project. You know, I've been a long time Tekken fan and, you know, you know, with the whole Tekken tour, you know, this is something I'm really pushing through myself on my own uh, to give people in North America a chance to actually play the game, you know. Uh, it's something I really wanted to do, you know. We announced the game a long time ago, right? And people yeah, like, e Evo play, uh, 2014, play. so that two yeah. years ago is when the game was first announced. Yeah. So when I first started on Tekken, I was like, this is a problem. Uh, we got to solve it. Um, but uh, obviously you're a huge role in that. It is uh, you and your squad. Um, Running kind of the tour for us, so much props to you and your guys. Uh, credit goes to all uh, Much love to the team at Bandai Namco because I mean, without your vision and without working with your entire team, it'd really be hard to get Tekken to the masses. I know it's a really tough time for Tekken fans right now because everyone, I mean, as a fan, let me let me speak yeah. really frankly as a fan. I want the game now. Yeah. And that's not going to happen because obviously there are things in place. We got to make sure we have a complete game. Definitely. And. Um, Obviously, that's going to be coming up. At least we've announced the, the window, and everyone should expect it. And uh, hopefully pre-order the game for early 2017. There's going to be more details, obviously, on launch and the specific dates, but that's going to be down the road. But right now, we are focusing on early 2017. Yeah. You know, we're definitely hard at work on the game. Obviously, at E3, we showed a little bit of the story mode. Um, what do you think of the story mode? I think it's amazing. So uh, I'm not going to say any names. I played a lot of game story <laughs> modes, especially recently. Yeah. And um, the Tekken one I played, even though, even though it was just a preview, the one I played at E3 was by and large the, the best aesthetically pleasing mm -hmm. and gameplay wise. Yeah. It, it was uh, yeah. seam the seamlessness was just so good. Yeah. I was a big fan of it. And um, I mean, it's, it's a good thing for fighting games because obviously um, I'm more in love with probably the competitive side than I am just for the casual players or just the single player experience. Yeah. But I know how important that is uh, to bring in new people. Yeah. So I think uh, having that, having having said that, I think it, uh, Tekken has a really good chance to, to win over a lot more people. Good, good. It's good to hear. Obviously. Yeah. From Mr. Tekken in the US. Yeah, man. Or we we could talk to Snoop Dogg again if you want. Uh, <laughs> Was I not supposed to say that? D O double G. The dog father. Yeah, who knows? He might show up here. Who knows? Yeah, he might be at Evo. Yeah. He's, he might smoke you guys in some tech. Exactly. He might have a hot box of food back here. Somewhere. But I think, oh, okay. I did not know this is a real match. So Ace Falcon versus SLR. I so strive, man. This guy. Camera camera work. But uh, oh, actually, this stage is the Mishima building. Yes. It's a new stage that was introduced during the arcade release of Tekken 7 FR, which was just recently. And um, it's one of those transition stages too as well. So once you get to the potential final round, it'll go to the roof of the Mishima building. And uh, you get to see all kinds of crazy action. So you guys probably rem remember in Tekken 6, they had that Nancy machine, Mishima machine, and they have all this crazy stuff in the background. What's up with those robot arms, man? They're freaking me out. They're so fluid and so smooth. Yeah, you guys put in a lot of <laughs> R&D into that. Kind of freaking me out. But here we are, we're at the roof. And you guys can hear the music changing. I really love the track on yeah. this stage. That's another thing. The the music uh, in Tekken, I think a lot of people probably heard. There's a lot of new tracks and new remixes in FR uh, versus the vanilla version, at least. It sounds so refined and nice. What would you say is your favorite track in any, any Tekken game? My favorite track in FR yeah. um, is the difference between Devil's Pit in uh, FR versus vanilla. Mm -hmm. it, I think it's much more upbeat much more hype inducing it's it's crazy not just that um i really like the opening uh, music for this stage as well yeah. but anyways you guys are again watching tekken 7 faded retribution live from evo 2016 in las vegas in hot hot las vegas yeah and right now we are actually right next to the mishima dojo we have the huge stage built up in the background you guys can probably see it in the camera in between shots when you check out ch check out the commentator view uh, you can see we have a, a whole crew of commentators back here, or cosplayers, I should say, cosplayers. back here. Yeah. We 
got Lucky Clo, we got Dayu, we even had Hihachi and uh, Kazuya. Yeah. But uh, it looks like it's starting to pick up in here. It's a lot more crowded. Some yeah, we're crowded. starting the afternoon pools now. People, more, more people coming up. And hopefully everyone that's watching home at Twitch, I hope you guys are enjoying. Because it's going to be fun. Yes, we have a uh, day full of Tekken. I guess yes. I got to take a phone call, but I'll be back <laughs> later on, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm working a double agent role here, so I apologize. I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, since Anakin is still uh, doing that, let me see something. I gotta find a way to boost you. Uh, my voice is so soft and so I gentle. Know. We gotta get you up there. You know, we gotta turn up, uh, turn up, the, turn up my mic. Turn my headphones up. Yeah, Anakin is doing an interview right now. Um, you know, we usually have guys like Eris and uh, Steve, but they are unfortunately doing other streams here at Evo. Yeah, they have other games going on right now, mm -hmm. so it's kind of tough. So you guys are stuck with me at the moment. I don't, I've streamed this game for so long, yeah. I still haven't picked up on a lot of the moves on it. Like, I know some of it, I just don't know the correct terminology yeah, yeah. of it. So, my goal is to learn all of this stuff. All love. You know you're doing a good job back there. And, you know, I'm the same way, right? Uh, you know, I've been uh, playing this game since probably last year. I'm still picking up some of the terminology, watching a lot of the streams. Um, good job. Yeah. All right, we actually have a commentator on coming on for you. Wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so it's... Mm, hold on. Thank you, sir. All right, we got Dre passing the mic yeah. to Steve. Steve. Steve from NorCal. Yes, subtle. Steven. Yes, sir. Doesn't really matter. I'm very casual with that. It's nice. What is your uh, your gamer handle? What music? Uh, I'm subtle. Uh, I am one of the two person team that runs Strong Style, NorCal Strong Style. Nice, nice. I actually knew. Br I know Bronson. You know yeah, that? no, he yeah. told me that you guys went to school together. I yeah. was like, well, that's wild. Yeah, he's a year older than me. It's it's crazy. Uh, so I didn't really talk to him. We we're in the same class, but uh, I just knew him as that kid that played tag all the time. You yeah. talked about tag all the time. This yeah. was like 2002. Yeah, he it was, was funny. like a junior, and I was like a sophomore, and all I did was talk about tag. It was really funny because that's about the time I got into this, and I'm a year older than him. Okay. And I was in college, and I was like still this high school kid just going around beating up dudes like 20, 30. Yep. Like I'm, when you're a kid, that sounds so crazy, but skill is kind of it gets so much better when you're younger. Yeah. So you, you utilize it. Yeah, so, yeah, you're a NorCal guy. We got uh, NorCal coming out here, uh, repping full strength. We had Andy on a little earlier. Yep. So who else is here? Who else we got? Uh, we got a couple of people who had us in decent time. Renzo, who I think he's made it to top three in a couple Wizard Worlds. Uh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. It's been a blur this weekend. There's so many people here. I've been really kind of impressed by the amount of people picking to draw for a game that isn't out. Mm -hmm. People are super passionate about this game right now. You know, it's good to see, right? It's good yeah, to see yeah, yeah, yeah. People are really excited about this game, and I think uh, a lot of the changes that they've been doing to make it look so much more exciting when mm -hmm. things happen, it's really like resonating with people. They'll see like Akuma do something and then get a whole bunch of flashes and yeah. things freeze. And it looks just really, really yeah. good from so a There's a lot of things that we've done to the game to even uh, make the spectator experience a lot, a lot better. Yeah, and I think that's important. It's something that I think video games have been missing for a while, uh, especially fighting games. If there's a way that you can make what you're doing feel good and get that reward value out of it, then yeah. it actually makes the game feel so much better. Yeah. So we got Lucky Chloe here, busting in a Rage Art, but gets punished with, with the armor, uh, low on health. We actually got Lucky Chloe standing right behind us, too. Yeah. I think she wants to say hello. Watch, watch your cosplaying in action. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, Lucky Chloe is not exactly the best character in the game, but she still has a lot of tricks. In a tournament like this, it can yes. actually be really advantageous being a very awkward character. There's a lot of trickery in her. Now, you know, a lot of people aren't used to her moveset. Even the Rage are, right? It's a low. A lot of people <laughs> yep. don't know that. Um, you know, so you can get by with a lot of uh, trickery and a lot of shenanigans. I'm all about tricky, so I can respect the Lucky Chloe game. Yes. 
It's all about the strategy on the trickery. <laughs> <laughs> All right, both of them have started to try to yeah. fill each other out. It does feel, there's going to be a lot of exploration, I imagine, in this tournament. There's still a lot of people that are trying to figure out this game, Definitely. find their niche, trying it out to see if they actually like it. And, I mean, I was over in the casual area, and people really, really enjoying it, talking actual strategy like people I've never seen before. Yeah. And I've been around forever, so. Yeah. You know, definitely people are playing kind of safe, you know, in the first match, you know, <laughs> first round. Yeah. Trying to figure it out. out. you know. Mm. Yeah, we got a chance in NorCal to play this.